Good morning, Liberty North. Today is Friday, October 6th. And today is the last day of the school week, and we've got a packed show for you guys. But first, please stand with us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We've got some announcements for you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Next week, HOSA will be holding a crayon drive to give to children at Children's Mercy. It goes on from Monday, October 9th through Friday, October 13th during 5th hour. Makeup Picture Day will be on Thursday the 12th from 7.30 to 11.30. Please make sure you get your pictures retaken if you have yet to do so. The University of Oklahoma is visiting today at 2 p.m. in the counseling office. If you wish to attend, please sign up through Family Connections. Today is the last day of Teen Read Week, and if you wish to attend the final event, which will be today, Please sign up at s'more.com slash yz7st. Our flatline video won the Twitter poll yesterday. Thank you to all of those that voted. The video will be entered in the MIPA state competition. Here's that video again. Head on in, we're doing shots. No, man, I'm good. I have to drive later. Come on, don't be like that. All right, fine, but just this one. It's past 1230. Hope you're not getting into too much trouble. Don't forget your sister's birthday tomorrow. Let me know when you're home. Love you. Huge shout out to Hammer and Kenny and Emma for that amazing video. It turned out great and we really hope you guys win. The, new edi the newest edition of This Is Kena is finished. Kale, this is your first year on Kena. What do you think about the videos? Uh, well, I think they're pretty funny, but I've only seen a few. But let's go ahead and check out the newest edition. So we might have given you the wrong impression on the last This Is Knet. That's not really us. We're not wild and crazy. I am completely in charge of everything, and I am always on top of everything that goes on in the class. You don't get to know my name. Hi, my name is Tommy Healy. I'm one of the uh, lead directors here. Pretty much put quality and quantity into my work. I always work hard, but you know, it wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Higgins. I mean, Higgins is usually the backbone of this. I mean, she's usually there to support us every time we direct a game. Uh, need a uh, Higgins! 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 I'm out here to show you guys one of the most spectacular things this program has to offer. It's our production truck. Um, this is where we do our live productions. We got a football games, basketball, softball. It's great. I gotta be honest, I'm in a great mood because I haven't seen Jack in like two days. I mean, it's just a nice break. I'm Jeff's daughter, unfortunately, and because of that, I kind of know the most about broadcasting, and I'm kind of the backbone of this class. You know, I started Ripley's Reminders, which is just these little fun reminders on the board, little drawings, pictures of how you're supposed to make um, actually good stories that a lot of people in this class struggle with. So it's, you know, it's nice to have those little helpful tips on how to make decent stories. An example of a story that needs some work is, um, about everything that Kane Jones does. He's, um, the worst. And this is my dog story. Um, I mean, it's basically like a masterpiece, but, um, it's kind of like, it's just my dog running through a puddle, but I thought it was pretty good. It might win a few awards this year. Like, it's close with some other ones, but yeah. A lot has been going on in the world of North Asian sports, so let's throw it over to Taylor and Peyton with the latest scoop. Well, 
What's up, North Nation? I'm Peyton Watkins. And I'm Taylor Burrow. Volleyball played last night, but sadly lost in two sets. But they're looking to bounce back against Kearney on Thursday before districts. Due to weather, softball has been postponed again, and the weather's being very complicated. Oh, speaking of weather, let's send it over to Haley for more on tonight. Thanks, Peyton. As you can see this morning, it was pretty cold and a little bit of sprinkling this morning. But tonight, it's going to be even more rainy and a lot colder. So please come out to the football game and support your Eagles, who will hopefully win tonight. And my advice, bring an umbrella and a coat and a blanket to the game. Now back up to Taylor and Peyton. Thanks, Haley. The weather, I think, is going to be a very big, it's going to have a very big impact on the game tonight. Yeah, I feel like the weather could definitely affect the passing game with all the rain. And that might help us because Ronnie Bell and Billy Maples are two of the top 10 players in the state for Park Hill. And they, they're a very good re uh, receiver and quarterback duo. Yeah, it's going to be tough for our defense to stop, but I feel like they can step up and uh, get the job done and get the win. Yeah. And then until Monday, this has been North Nation Sports. I'm Peyton Watkins. And I'm Taylor Burrow. Back to the front. Thanks, guys. There is a correction on sports. Softball has not been postponed yet, but there is a good chance of it being postponed. If they play, they will play at 2.30. We just got ahead of ourselves. Stay tuned for Twitter for updates if the game is played or postponed. Make sure everyone comes out to the football game tonight at Park Hill at 7. We'd really love to see everyone there. The band has been doing really well this year. There's a competition tomorrow at Lee Summit North. Juan has a, an interview with Chase Mason just right over there, so let's find out more about that. Hi guys, I'm Juan. I'm here with Chase of the Liberty North Screaming Eagle Marching Band. Uh, so Chase, how have you guys been doing so far this year? Uh, yeah, we've had one competition so far and we took first. Nice. So uh, this competition tomorrow, how is it different from those competitions that you guys have been in the past? Right. Um, this year we're really stepping it up and this competition is the biggest competition by far with the band's ever been to. Um, the caliber of bands there is just going to be a lot higher. We're going up against some of the top bands in the nation, like Blue wow. Springs, and they just, they practice before and after school every day, um, Saturday and Sunday rehearsal, so band's just a full-time job for them at that point, and we're just not at that point, so we don't expect to take home any trophies, but we're going to take the judges' critiques, and we know that we're doing better, and we're going to continue to get better. That's okay. So, uh, have you guys, you know, there's... Back to you guys at the front. <laughs> it's been real, North Nation, and we will be back here on Monday. I mean, we won't be back, but someone else will. But until then, we'll catch, catch you on the north side. side.